The Hey All Types here, back with some exciting new news in the world of House Flipper. This week saw the arrival of Steam Workshop support for the game and modding for all PC players, and there's already some super exciting new stuff appearing on the workshop. So we're going to take a quick look today at how it works, take a quick, super quick look at um, what you need to do if you're a modder or want to learn, what currently you can and can't do with modded assets. And then lastly, I thought we'd just take a little look at some of the things that have already appeared on the workshop. So first of all, just to say, if you're someone that's new to using the workshop on mods, it's a super simple thing, something a lot of games do now. Um, there's nothing to worry about with adding these to your game. Um, I've been a great believer in the need for this in the game for a long time. And I think it's really got a potential to massively improve the game and keep it going for a long time. So to get a workshop item into your game, all you've got to do is click the, the workshop tab in Steam under House Fibber, and here you'll see a list of all the available items. Uh, you can search, you can see all the most popular stuff, or you can browse using these filters here on the right hand side. If it's your first time, um, I'd suggest just clicking the most popular items to see a list of all the available stuff. Uh, sorted by what's most popular. Generally that will be the best things, uh, especially when we sort of start off. Uh, once you've done all that, all you've got to do is click the little plus mark and you'll subscribe to that asset. All of those, those subscribed items then appear in the game, in this tab, in your tablet. Click it and place it down like you normally would. So if you're someone who's used to 3D modelling and modding, this should be easy. Or like me, you're wondering if it's something you'd be able to do. Frozen Dish have provided a guide of sorts, uh, but you will need to be familiar with, with 3D modelling uh, or at least willing to learn something like Blender. I'll put a link in the description to kind of everything that I can. The guide, uh, Blender link, Unity links, all those sorts of things. So by no means am I an expert on this at all guys, I'm very much learning as, as we go. Um, um, but what's interesting is I've just noticed something in the documentation detail. So when I started recording I was looking and saying there looks like there's a bunch of limitations. I actually thought initially there were a whole bunch of things that you couldn't do. You couldn't interact with objects, you couldn't have doors that open, you couldn't have lights that switched on, you couldn't have uh new paints you couldn't have new wallpapers etc i'm actually not now entirely sure i haven't proved this yet um, and we haven't got anything on the workshop to see it but it's fairly discreetly buried in the documentation and maybe something that modders haven't yet noticed but there is an item here uh, which is looks like it's really important to me so item classification section so as you're defining an object uh, in this so this is the this is the browser basically this is my unity window uh, and we have these this is effectively how I kind of tag it so that I'm there's my kind of house with a tag I'm just playing around with some trees here um, and when I get the option I thought initially it just looks like the basic choices are whether something can be placed on the floor or on a wall um, and if it can be placed on the floor can other items be put on top of it? I think that's saying, and I'm not sure what this is saying, but basically whether things can be stacked, etc. What the documentation is saying, what's super interesting, is this little section here. So you can select any number of tags describing the item, picking them one by one from the list. Most of them define how the item is viewed by appraisers, and some of them influence the behavior of the items in game so that's super interesting so if we look here if we look at the tags here or sorry the categories here you can in fact see that there are doors there are pools there are tools there are floors installations so I don't quite know how this would work but this does seem to suggest to me that if you were to you know windows curtains and blinds potentially if you were to add an item and tag it with that 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 may well be the thing that triggers the interaction and the behavior in the game as i said i'm yet to see anyone actually try that it may well be because it's very very sort of discreetly mentioned 
in the documentation but interesting to see if that is the case otherwise if this if this isn't the case um, I'm pretty sure this is how they're going to allow people to do things like lights because initially what I'm seeing on the workshop at the moment are things like candles that, for example that can't be switched on so this is just a little selection there's there'll be more there are already more on the workshop that I've chosen but yeah, I thought there'll be a link in all the descriptions, all of these guys, but um, this is pretty much most of the good stuff that I've seen so far. So we've got this big mirror, we've got this exercise ball, we've got these weights, we've got this, t this little TV stand and unit, retro TV thing, some really nice clutter uh, for the kitchen, so bits of food and things, a bottle of vodka, um, some some uh, washing liquid this is probably one of the best i've seen on the on the workshop so far uh, i think this is the the first one of the first from an actual model i think some of these like this and this amazing chess set i might be wrong but i've got a feeling that's actually from the frozen district team but i might be wrong um little punch bag little chair as you can see a lot of these don't look like they quite have textures yet so these some of these might be kind of test assets um, and then someone is playing around with blocks. Now I want to kind of, kind of just demonstrate a couple of the things that I talked about in the limitations of the way this stuff works. So as we know, if you're someone that's watched any of my videos, um, in-game assets quite often have a thing where you can stack them and they'll float. These do not have that mechanic. Uh, so you will be able to build internal walls potentially with these, although obviously as I said you can't paint them. So there's nothing I can do to paint this, it won't let me interact with it. Um, and if you try and stack them and remove them, you know, if you're trying to build a roof over the top of your head, you won't be able to remove the, the lower blocks. So this is kind of interesting, but again I think the limitations of what we've got kind of stifle it a little bit. Um, just to demonstrate the, the thing I said before about the colours. So these are these are the lovely little candles. The trouble is you can't light them. The game doesn't let you light them. Not the modder's fault. That's just the way that the game is set up at the moment. Uh, and again, this person has uploaded a load of different colour variations, but they have to be individual assets. Same thing with this. So you can't rotate. You can rotate this about this axis, but you can't rotate it like you might, you know, a book for example and try and flatten it so yeah really exciting stuff I just think it needs to go a little bit further I think that the developers need to give the modders a few more options I think it's fairly doable I'm really excited to see what people do with this and where it goes I think it's got a real real potential for massively changing the game and, and adding an enormous amount to it based on the appetite of what we're seeing you know within the community already um, you know, there's some promising, there's some promises and very talented modders out there. So hopefully we'll get more. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Thought I'd just do a little kind of review. I'll probably be keeping up to date with this and we may well see more stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. It really helps me out. It's free to you, uh, but it obviously helps me out and the like is always good. Let me know in the comments below if there are particular assets that you would like to see on the workshop. Now, there is also... A link to my discord uh, we have a channel where we're kind of collecting stuff to feed back into frozen district and into the modern community and there is also a discord link to the official house flipper discord um, and there is a channel in there where people are posting what they'd like to see on the workshop anyway my name is toves catch you soon <laughs>